a driveless car, a future American Idol star, and David Letterman takes it a little too far? All that and more, cause we're at the forefront, son. You know, some things, they just naturally go together, like peanut butter and jelly, Batman and Robin, even Jen and Juice, but somehow, pranks and drive throughs have become an American comedy staple, a symbol of our combined love of fattening foods and just messing with people. In recent years, one man has made his personal mission to mess with the minds of fast food employees everywhere, and his name is Rahat. Now, from floating cups to fake hands, Rahat has pissed off plenty. His latest prank, the driveless car, is by far one of his biggest ones yet, and it is still blowing up. Now, if you're one of the only people on this planet that hasn't seen it, here it is. What I did was I built this car seat costume, and I put it on, and I'm gonna go through a drive-thru. Yo! Just throw it in here. I'm, I'm a ghost. <laughs> throw it in there. Oh uh, yeah, I'm a ghost. Just, thank you. Now I know what you're thinking. Oh, Badge, I want to prank a drive-thru, but I have no engineering skills. What can I do? Look, the answer is simple. Just have an amazing voice. Like this dude. I want a number six super size with a Sprite and large fries. Mustard ketchup only, please, but don't you forget the cheese again. So you can't sing either? Well, that's okay, because there are other ways to do this. You know, car pranks, they've been around, like, forever. Like, before the internet. Now check what David Letterman did for his TV audience when McDonald's let him work at their drive-thru. You know, ma'am, we're really busy. Can I ask you to circle the lot one time? Can you just go around, like, once or twice so we kind of uh, collect ourselves here? If you don't mind, it would really help us out a lot. We're just up to our necks here. None of your business. Just circle the lot and we'll fix it. So you see what he did there? He turned the whole thing upside down and pranked the cars. See, that stuff's genius. Now, since we're old school in it, maybe it's best we close our show with the fast food car prank we found on a piece of round spinning vinyl. You, you know, the things that DJ scratch. What hipsters listen to. A record? Double cheeseburger, onion rings, and a large orange drink. No, I want a cheeseburger. A double cheeseburger. Think we all been there. Now, before I sign off, I hope we all learned something today because I know I did. First of all, messing with people at a drive through is not only fun, it can be profitable. Second, David Letterman, a little bit of a jerk, but sure is a good time. And finally, there's some comedy gold on old records. Well, that's it for now. Make sure you guys subscribe right here. What? Um, check out a video playlist right here. Are you, are you pranking me? My show? You prank? I'm Batch, and you've been at the forefront. How did I get an invisible car? It's weird.